In this segment, we will cover page management for Google Sites. So next to the Insert menu on the right, we're going to click on Pages. The Pages panel allows me to create pages, it allows me to order pages, and it allows me to make subpages. So now let's create a new page. We click the plus button at the bottom, and we have two options. We have New Link and New Page. When we click New Page, we do have to name the page. I will call this one Digital Portfolios, and I now have a new page. Notice we have this new item in the Pages panel. We have a new item in the menu at the top, and it created a title. I can adjust my title so it fits the way that I want, and I can change the title on the page without it affecting the title in the menu. I can make changes to the header type. So in some cases, I might make it title only for the secondary pages. And now I can begin creating on this page. So I'd go back to the Insert menu, start adding in my elements to build my page. Let's go ahead and make another page. I click Pages tab, click New Page. I'm going to make a few pages. OK, as you can see, I created multiple pages, and now I'm going to organize them. So I want the Digital Portfolios page below the home page. And then I'm going to take each one of these sub pages that I created and put them on top of Digital Portfolios so that they become sub pages. I can reorder them. And now I have two top level pages and these three are sub pages underneath digital portfolios. I can access them as the editor in the pages panel, but a viewer of the website would access them from the menus. Now let's look at the new link button. When I click new link, I can create a name for the link. And then for the link, I'm going to go to a website, copy the URL, and paste it. Now I have the option to allow it to open in a new tab or open in the same tab. If it opens in the same tab, when somebody clicks it, they would be leaving your website. If you open in a new tab, your website will stay open and then this other external website will open in this new tab. Now when I created that, it went under the digital portfolios as a subpage, which I don't want. So I'm going to drag that pull it out and down, and it is now an item at the top menu. Sometimes you might want to have your pages hidden in the menu. So you can click on the triple dots menu and choose hide from navigation. One reason you might want to do this is because you don't want to have a lot of items in your menus. Rather, you might want to link to them from within your website to those pages. Another reason is you may still be editing a page so you might want to hide it until it's ready to be shown. Now I will show you how to link to these pages that are hidden. They're still there, you just cannot see them from the menus up here. So I created three buttons, and now I'm going to click on the link button and choose to link within this site to that page. And I now have three buttons that will redirect to these hidden pages. I also could use on the insert menu the button. These buttons look nicer and they work the same way as a hyperlink. I could also use an image. Images can be linked just like text. What's important here though is that we remember on pages I have hidden in navigation so you cannot access it from the menus, but you can still link to them within your website. This gives you a little bit more control and it keeps your menus clean. And finally, you may want to rename your pages. Again, click the menu, go to properties, change the name, click done. One last thing to show you in the pages menu. If you have created a page that you might use as a template for this website, a big time saver is to use duplicate page. When you choose duplicate page, you just click it, rename it, and click done. 
you now have a page that copies all the formatting that you already created, and you would just edit your content. To summarize, click Pages, use the plus button to create a new page, and use the menus for each page to access the different options for each page, and drag your pages around to reorganize them.